this is the figure view of the last airbender and from the last airbender movie toy line by spin master the movie is based on uh, avatar the last airbender on nickelodeon i am a big fan of the show uh, so i really hope the movie is great and so far from the trailer it is pretty good um, so i'm going to review the ang figures the three inch three quarter uh, this is the packaging, pretty interesting looking, with the name down here, and a little a little bit of fire on the side. On the top is uh, the the title and the four flags of the four nations. Um, here is the picture of Noah Ringer, who plays Aang in the movie, and uh, I think he looked pretty good for Aang. And uh, another thing I want to mention about the packaging, there is a sticker that said highly articulated. I think it depends on how you look at the figures and how you pose it. Um, and to me, this figure only had a decent amount of the articulation. It is not highly articulated. Uh, it is here just to uh, advertise the figures. So this is an example of uh, something that you should not believe on the packaging of a figures. So onto the back, we have uh, another very cool picture of Aang. And uh, other figures to collect is uh, we have Aang in the Avatar state. He comes with his glider. We have Prince Zuko. This is Prince Zuko dresses as the Blue Spirit and Saka. I believe this is uh, series one of the line because I also seen picture on the internet. There are a Katara figures and um, another Saka figure in the uh, cold weather outfit. Uh, oh, then and there's also an Appa figure, so uh, make sure to to uh, collect those as well. Uh, so this is A. He comes with uh, his staff, like in the show, and his pet Momo. Uh, this Momo is different from the show because from the show, the fun part of uh, Momo, his ear, and as well as his tail are white in his black. I guess this is a sneak peek of what Momo will look like in the movie. I, I didn't see him in the trailer, but I'm pretty sure Momo uh, is there. So this guy is like a little statue. So I'm gonna show you the staff now. Uh, very cool, there is a little bit of detail on this end of his staff but there is no painting whatsoever um, oh just uh, just another feature with Momo you can have him sit on Aang's shoulder and you can see Momo's tail is curved so you can just wrap Momo's tail around the back of Aang's neck and then you have it oh yeah moving his neck around can, can knock him off but uh, see uh, so that is a nice feature to uh, use with Momo I think that's nice um, this guy only has a decent, decent amount of articulation but he doesn't have some of the keys joint that can really ring out the potential of this figure I mean you can totally pose him better uh, with with the like um, with the swivel bicep and the swivel thigh. The way his hip joint is, uh, he he doesn't go out like move in and out like this. Uh, the leg go in and out like this, so it look kind of weird. So a swivel thigh would be helpful because you wanna uh, rotate the rotate the uh, rotate the um, lower part of the leg forward to make it look more natural and a swivel bicep would be nice too because you, the uh, forearm can go up and down he can, uh, you cannot rotate the arm from side to side so that's kind of that, that's kind of a uh, downer uh, but beside the painting and sculpting is great I think this figure captured the, light, the lightness of Noah Ringer very good but I find the the painting of his eye is a little bit weird. 
the people are way too small but still they are able to uh, they are able to to uh, paint the uh, the tattoo on his, on his head down to the very small detail I mean I don't think my camera can pick that up but if you have this figure you can see it better in person uh, it go all the way down to the back of his head and same thing on his hand I mean I really love how uh, Aang look in this movie with the uh, with the look of a monk and everything because I'm a big fan of kung fu movies so this look is always a must I think he look fantastic in this outfit oh and uh, the the uh, the, word, the, the other articulation he has is a uh, ball jointed head, ball jointed shoulder, a single hinged elbow, swivel wrist. There is um, a swivel waist underneath his shirt, a uh, ball jointed hip, single hinged knee, and single hinged ankle. Um, so let me let me bring out Captain Wreck out here because this is the only figure I have right now. Um, I think the scale is good comparing that Aang is a little kid in the show so he is pretty small for the regular 3 inch 3 quarter figures so I think the scale is good overall this is a good figures but I don't think the I don't think uh, your money is worth uh, paying for this guy I mean this guy cost me um, a buck at uh, Toys R Us but comparing the uh, amount of detail, the quality and articulation, this figure is no more no more than the uh, regular 2 inch 3 quarter by Hasbro. So I don't so I think a bug is a little bit uh, too much to ask for these figures. Um I would recommend this figure only for the fan. I mean, and if you are a fan of the show, you would want to collect this figure. But I don't think the other collector would uh, go for this guy or any f uh, other figures in the same line um, so look out for these at your local Toys R Us they cost about uh, $7.99 and uh, I recommend this figure for the fan only and uh, that's it for the review and stay tuned for the upper figure from this same line and thanks for watching